Today we're going to look at how you can embed PDF editing and viewing inside of your React app. We're going to do it by calling the command create React app with the TypeScript template. So first, let's open up Visual Studio Code. We're going to use npx create react app, my app, minus minus template, TypeScript. This will take a few minutes to run, so we'll speed this part up. Now there are some variations with different versions of Node, and in this demo, I'm using Node 20, but you may see something different with a different version of Node. Great, that's done it. Let's navigate to a new project folder, and we can see we've got lots of files. Let's start our project using npm start, just to make sure that everything's working before we make any changes. We may see a few warnings, but that's okay. We will live with them for now, because we just want to show how to get started with React using the off-the-shelf tools. Okay, that's it running. So let's put that aside for a moment. Now there's a lot of things we're not going to need in the code that comes with the project. But first, let's create a new terminal and migrate to our app folder. So let's get rid of all of this and the logo. And now we're ready to start putting things back in. So we're going to install the web viewer using npm install at pdftron slash web viewer and save it as a dependency. Again, this will take a few moments. Now if we look in node modules, we'll find we have an app PDF Tron folder, and we need to copy the contents of the public folder, core and UI, into our own project public folder into a new subfolder called lib. Great. Now we're ready to start rebuilding things. So we need to import the web viewer into our app.tsx file. Now we're going to create a div with the class name web viewer so we can style it later. And we're going to add a reference to indicate that this is where we want the web viewer component to be mounted. Now we're going to define what viewer div is using the use ref hook. And we need to specify use ref and the use effect hook at the top of the TSX file. We're going to use the use effect hook to instantiate the web viewer. The use effect hook takes an array of dependencies. If the array of dependencies is empty, as it is in this case, then it will be called only once as the component mounts. Within the function, we're going to specify the path to the web viewer library, which we just copied over. And we're also specifying the initial document to be loaded, which can either be a local file or a URL. And we are also passing in the HTML div element where we want this to be placed. When this function runs, it's going to return a promise. And when that promise resolves, we could use the instance in a function if we wanted to, for example, to enable or disable features within the web viewer UI. But we won't do that just now. OK, let's see what our web page looks like now. And well, we've got a web viewer, but the document's rather small. But we can fix that using CSS because we created a class name earlier. So let's add dot web viewer and specify the height as 100% of the viewport height. If we save that, we can now see that our web app has got a document that's just as we want. We can annotate it, zoom in, zoom out, or do all of the many things that the web viewer supports. Thank you for watching. Catch you next time.